But speaking of what if, what if is a big question we ask here on Cruise Control. What if, what if, what if? And what if is covered in our new segment, and that is the weather. For the weather, everybody, that segment of Cruise Control, we ask the obscurities, the weird things, the odd things that relate to movies themselves. What if now Artemis 3 is going to be going to the moon to try to grow life? Well, not life, but plants on the moon. And if they can do that, on top of that, they're going to do moon bases, start traveling across the moon and make science fiction science reality. Big thing moving forward. Artemis 1 and 2 have already been building up for this. Wait, Artemis this 3 will... Is this real news we're talking this about? This is real fucking news. This is oh, real shit. news. This is real news. <laughs> well, wait, 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 <laughs> wait. But wait for it, K. Jacob. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. So they want to actually get to the moon. They want to evolve this, make these plants grow, and get to a place where humans can actually be here. They're going to study moon quakes on top of here, discover there's ice and water on the moon, and humans will eventually travel to the moon. That's the idea, to live there in these moon bases and advanced technology. And that's a great thing. And I think because of things like this, with NASA pushing this, we're getting all these big sci-fi movies. We're getting more and more, I think, because of that. Look at Project Hail Mary coming forward with Ryan Gosling. I love Ryan Gosling. Of course, you know, he's been sweeping the nation with Barbie. Of course, everyone's saying Ken, Ken, guy. Ken, 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 Kenergy, the fall guy. Uh, but now he has this new Project Hail Mary project moving forward. And it's based on a novel by Andy Ware, who did The Martian, which did fucking fantastic, based on a lot of science facts like this, too. I mean, that amazing and drama sci fi piece that won an Oscar for a comedy. Hey, you know, what? I'm just saying. Ryan Gosling now is going to be traveling to space. I think there's going to be more and more projects like this. But this project is set to stand, but with Phil Lord actually writing it with Christopher Miller and directing it. And they did, of course, the End of the Spider-Verses. They tried doing a solo, and then they got fired. You know, they had a lot of drama back there. Drew Goddard's also attached to this on top of that. But it follows Ryland, a sole survivor of a critical mission to save humanity and Earth. He wakes up on a spacecraft, floating through the cosmos with no memory of his identity or his mission. And all, all this rediscovered as he reads his own diary and finds his stories and finds himself again. And will he save humanity? That's the question. And will going to the moon save humanity? Because that's what people are trying to say. If we go to the moon, we will, you know, advance further into the cosmos. And that will make us into a better society moving forward. So welcome to the weather. We're getting a little deeper thinking about this. Mike, do you think that this is going to actually lead to more movies like this? And this is a concept that you want to see in a feature film moving forward? Oh, I was trying to think. I looked it up earlier. What else Drew Goddard wrote? He uh, also he worked wrote the, the Superman, the Martian, Batman. Right? Uh, Drew Goddard's been involved with with all the DC stuff for a long time. Oh yeah, uh, I, I Gary, remember. What Goddard write? Yeah, he 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 wrote Cabin in the Woods. That's yeah. what's oh. uh, like. So I I don't know anybody who's he's involved. A, in, with he's an end of day kind of writer. I think I Cloverfield. Think you're, you know, you're kind, you're kind of bulletproof, like because I, I I really do view Cabin in the Woods as kind of a perfect movie because it does it simultaneously skewers while affirming the the genre and hitting all the points along the way right. in the in the technical story building aspects of it. Um, so I really have high hopes for this film. Well, do you think we'll, we'll get? Do you think we'll actually grow plants in the moon? We'll definitely try. Some some plants will grow on the moon. I mean, they're not just growing them out like outside of the habitat. I wouldn't expect. If they do manage to do that, I'm going to be incredibly impressed because I would expect that plenty of plants have tried to grow on the moon. They have a little uh, push, right, Mike? In ter in terms of success, well, they they need a tent maintaining pressure and listen and an oxygen rich environment. I would suspect if, if you want plants to grow on the moon, you got to plant your dickweeds next to your pussy willows so you get kumquats. It's that easy, <laughs> and that oh, will Siri, make them grow. Siri, look up my vagina. <laughs> 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 um, what do you think, K. Jacob? Is this going to be a good concept for Ryan Gosling? And you think that NASA pushing towards like the universe, you know, expanding our society is leading to these movies moving forward? 
Uh, as much as I love movies and garbage and movies like this and the fact that the writer of this is a great writer who is known for his end of days type movies, um, I'd really love for NASA to actually focus on NASA. Uh, you want to talk about real news. Uh, why the fuck aren't we still doing missions to space and, and actually like actively doing more things in outer space? Like, that's what I want to know. Why isn't NASA focusing on NASA? Like, I, and I get maybe getting more movies like this out there and hyping people up will help them to fund these missions. It but, does. like, we haven't done shit since, like, 1998. We've had, like, one or two things happen. We had the sad, tragic uh, astronaut uh, spaceship crash in, like, 05. And I haven't seen shit since then other than Elon Musk trying to fucking blow shit up. Uh, that's it. Like, I, I want NASA to focus on NASA. Uh, and also, I've watched enough horror movies to know that you don't eat anything that grows on the fucking moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want to. But that's the thing. No. You think uh, Queen asked the question? Queen asked the question. Do you think that we're going to terraform the moon ever, K. Jacob? I don't think we will. No, we shouldn't because if we did, then the way our gravity works would not be good. Yeah, I, I feel like that's like the one thing you don't you don't really fuck with. You know, you can fuck with different planets, maybe like Elon. Yeah, Musk wants go, to. go to fucking Mars, terraform yes. Mars. I'm all for terraforming yeah. Mars and yeah. living on Mars. And I even know that you don't eat or drink anything that grows on Mars, but I'm down for it other than the fucking moon. Yeah. I, I, the moon you know what? We don't talk about Venus much either. Why don't we talk about Venus a lot? Because it's like volcanoes. Good, okay, and, okay. There's a lot yeah. of volcanoes. We don't there talk like fucking. There's Island, a lot of like volcanoes in Hawaii. You don't see that stopping us. <laughs> I mean, like, I think the, you melt as soon as you enter the atmosphere. So, I mean, fucking great. Like, Let's make a movie about it. Let's do it. We can do a Venus movie. Now, you're literally Venetians. giving us great plots here, NASA. Come on. <laughs> Listen to Brian we, Cruz on Cruise Control. Here we go. Mondays, Wednesdays, it, and Fridays. Put Cruise in control. That's that's what we gotta that's say. Right. Um, but I, I think the weather. The weather. It's always changing. Uh, I'll tell you Trevor, one thing though. I can guarantee for this project, I, and this is my last <laughs> statement. Uh, mm-hmm. When Hail Mary does come out, we will get. An asylum movie to accommodate it. Okay. That's oh, it. I think we will. It will, will it be probably called be called Hail Mary. Yeah, it'll be called oh. Hell H E L L Mary. <laughs> Trevor, what do you think? Is this a movie you check out in theaters? Uh, I think that's gonna be good for Ryan Gosling. And do you see any kind of like expansion into sci-fi movies to get people you know attached and realizing they should get you know more involved with NASA? Uh, I mean, like, I would absolutely check this movie out in the theater. This is very much up my alley. Like, I fucking love The Martian and, like, uh, you know, like, that kind of stuff. Even the less realistic stuff like Gravity or whatever. Like, just, I love space shit. Sandra Bullock in space was amazing. You shut your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but also, like... She jumped out of a spaceship. Sandra Bullock was perfect, but gravity (laughs) doesn't work that way. (laughs) That movie is the definition of how gravity works, and you know it, Trevor. (laughs) I... You know, I don't have a math degree, but uh, <laughs> you don't need math for science. <laughs> well, it's true. If they set it on cruise control, you know it's true. Well, um, as far as like NASA, like getting more involved with movies, like if it does help them, like if they do end up making some money out of it, I think that would be great. I think the main reason we haven't seen much out of NASA lately is because they have had pretty extreme budget cuts, yeah. and because we instead we keep subsidizing shit like SpaceX, which you know you uses mottos like move fast break shit and i don't feel like that's going Uh, very well for any fighting aliens that don't even exist or have been confirmed have been confirmed i am an x-files believer Uh, i want to believe but until it's confirmed why are we sending people to spacex yeah i would much rather see nasa handling that shit than elon musk uh fuck that guy (laughs) frankly yeah Yeah. (laughs) fuck him and his shitty truck yeah, him um, and Bezos and everybody else is launching their own rockets at this point. And and Bob, the rapper Bob, who built his own rockets so that he could prove the Earth was flat. Remember that guy? Hey, hey, Bob the Builder is yeah. dope, dude. Built his oh, own different rockets. Guy. Different guy, sorry. No, different Bob guy. The, Bob, the, Bob the Rocketeer. The Bob the Rocketeer. <laughs> oh, I... I I don't know Bob the Rocketeer, but you know what, Trevor? It sounds like you have a pickle with Elon Musk, so I'm going to give you That's a so quick sexy. Musk Minute. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying this is the, I have all the answers here. How do you feel about Just Elon say Musk? Us. Say tell us I, a few more times. Look at this. I mean, I, like this picture perfectly sums it all up. What the fuck is that thing? I, it looks like a dumpster from the back. The brakes don't work. The pieces are always falling apart. It's it's I, Elon with his dick firing blanks. Oh shit! That I, I forgot to. I mean. Even with blanks, I'm surprised that thing didn't blow up. I, that's a thing that their batteries are known for. They explode at four times the rate of a normal car battery. I, 
What is, is this? this? What is this? What consumer cars are designed for to uh, to withstand uh, bullet is Rich, this, is rich this people in Tesla need? trucks need protection from military grade hardware. Right, that, that is fair. They, while they're driving through Beverly kind of Hills. <laughs> they're, they're selling this to the kind of people who think that downtown LA looks the way it did at the beginning of Predator 2. I mean, mm -hmm. that I was a documentary, that. right? Predator 2? My, my heart was broken when I got here and drove through downtown LA, and it was nothing like that. Right? I, yeah. it's, just, it's just fucking people. There's a farmer's market. I don't... Where's all the bullets? Yeah. Why are <laughs> those <laughs> <exist> everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> But that was a good Musk minute. Uh, I, I do think, though, that uh, I saw Queen said, too, that maybe Musk would make it there first. I mean, he's trying, but he wants to nuke Mars and maybe a nuke Mars and maybe that would terraform. But we can't touch the moon. But I do think that if we keep giving NASA money, we will get further and further out there. And, and this is a way to incentivize people to believe in NASA is do movies like this. It's, with com Ryan it's commercial, right? You got to love a commercial that, like, furthers the goals of humanity mm -hmm. at large, right? right. Like, what's mm -hmm. not to love? We've moved yeah. into yeah. RoboCop territory. They actually do peer review. <laughs> yeah, that's the future we're in. Everything is commercialized. We're in RoboCop territory. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, yeah. uh, what'd you say, Trevor? Fast? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I, I said uh, I said NASA just works slower because they actually do peer review. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Also, also we're away. not in RoboCop anymore, man. What are you buying for a dollar these days? Um, I said I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> it's going to be at least ten dollars by this point. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but yep, that's uh, that's the weather, everybody. It's been changing and shifting and, and moving and swifting. Changes changes all the time. <laughs> Would you changes. say it's twisting around? It's twisting. It's twisted. It's crazy. It's nuts. Uh, it's everything.